Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm here to do my 100 lead code challenge. And today we have nested list with sum. And this question is giving a nested list of integer. Return the sum of all integer in the list wasted by their depth. Um, each element is either an integer or a list uh, whose element may be an integer or another list. So let's take a look at example one. Input is a list and then integer and a list. So this is the whole list. And for this one, we will turn two, but in this, the depth is not a level. So for this level is one. If you have another bracket, everything in this small bracket will count as a two time because it's level two. So two, one plus one is two, two times two is four. And here is another four. So four plus four is eight, plus the level one, which is two. So total is sum up is 10. And in here, you see one is level one. So it's one, it's four, it's level two. So it is eight and six, is so was three. So three times six, 18. So their sum up will be 27. Pretty straightforward. And how to tackle this problem is, uh, we can first loop through everything in the original list. If, uh, if it's integer, if the element's integer, then we add it to the sum. And we have a level at the beginning. So starting start, started with one. So two times level one is two. So add it to this total sum. Now, after that, we increment level by two and break out every list. And we have a template list to store everything in the second level um, elements. Then we put it to new list and look through that new list again. At that time, the level is two. So we keep doing that and sum everything up until everything break it down. And that's it. Let's take a look at the code. Now, what, like what we know, we have a sum. Yeah, the sum is equal to zero. And, and level equal to one. Start, the, start with one. And we have, you can see here is a special class. Since Java is type, um, type restricted and you, you won't see um, two and a list in the same time in one list. So this is special uh, nested integer class to manage all of those. And here's all their method to manipulate and using this class. And here first we have to check nested list dot size is not equal to zero. If this one is not equal to zero, then we have to keep looping every element inside that list, right? Like what we said, we have a list nested integer list temporary and we have a list right here we need to loop through everything element inside the nested list check if the element is integer and this function is right here so check if it's integer so if that was integer then sum e dot get integer it's a special method also from here get met yeah right here get the method 
time. Oh yes, forgot. Time level, current level. Right. Else, this is not integer, and it's a list. So what we can do, because we have a temporary list to store a next level's element, uh, temporary dot add or element dot get list. Another um, internal function from here to get everything. For example, here's a list. We see the list and the temporary will keep every element from this list, we add every element from the list, this list to the temporary one. And that will keep looping. After this for loop, so the nested list is done looping. And what we can do is uh, the level should increase by one. And now the nested list equal to temporary because the temporary is keeping all this next level element, right? Then we replace it and to keep looping uh, for the next list. So eventually we'll finish looping and return a sum that we cap. Let's see how it is. Okay, I think it looks good to me. Yeah, um, yeah, that's it for this question. So if you have any question, please comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.